Hey y'all, so I got another coloring tutorial for y'all today. This blue and shades of green came out so pretty. If you want to see how I got this color and how I styled this wig, please stay tuned. So I will be working on this 34 inch unit that I custom made for my client. I'm taking the shade Emerald. Hunter Green, Clover, Electric Lime, and Neon Green. Everything will be listed below the colors that I use and the mixtures. But of course, these other little supplies that you will also need. I go in with Emerald first. I thought this was going to have more of a green tint to it, but it's fine. And I do two rows of tracks with this. I make sure that I'm splitting the tracks because I double this when I'm sewing them wig on the sewing machine so i want to make sure i get every inch of the wig so i spread that apart then go back to the original routine i also color underneath don't forget to do that and then i smooth everything in after everything is done again i did two rows of this so this is the second one and i'm going to go in with the same process So I was looking for a shade that was a little darker than like the neon and electric lime. Those two are the same colors, but I needed a darker shade of green. So I went in with the electric lime and a couple of drops of hunter green. And I got this like darker green that I have. Um, I needed this just because I wanted a little more dimension in the greens. And I only did one row of this. Now I'm going in with the neon green. I wanted to make sure that it was nice and bright and popping. So I did two rows of this as well. And here's a better look of the different shades of green. And then I just started the whole process over again. So I went in with two rows of emerald, one row of the darker green, and then two rows of the neon green. And this is just a tip for something that I do. When you have different colors, especially a darker and a lighter color, I use a paper towel just to wipe off that darker color off of my gloves to minimize the transfer of the dark color onto the light color. I ended up having one more roll left and I just used the last roll to do emerald and then it was time to move on to the frontal. For the roots of the frontal, I use Clover and Hunter mixed together and a little bit of electric green because for some reason the Clover and the Hunter green was like bluish and that's not what I was going for. I needed a dark, dark, deep green. So yeah, I mixed those three together and then I just did the roots with that color. When I'm coloring the roots of a wig, I always go in with a small tooth comb just to make sure that I'm being precise, that I'm getting the strands of the hair and not coloring the knots because green knots will not look good. And then I'm also going in with two applications of this just to make sure that the green has dimension and that it's dark. Um, so you see here, it kind of spread, but I make sure I separate every about a half inch or so and then go in twice with that dark green so that it's actually the color that I need it to be. Say when I make it, don't forget me. That's no when I make it, you coming with it. Say the word and we take it. 
So now that the roots are all done on the front, so I go in with M root and then that green that I just use on the roots and I mix that together and I get this like aquamarine bluish green type color. This is the originally the color that I wanted the blue in the back to be, but you know, we already applied all of that. So I'm just going to put that um, about two inches into the front tool then i'm doing a section of neon green and then a small section of that bluish green again i do this on both sides okay here's the other side of the front tool and like i said i do the same thing that i did on the other side to this side so a big section of the bluish green mixture um a little bit of neon green and then a small section of the bluish green color So for the middle of this front tool, I am doing something different. I'm leaving a blonde space in between the dark green and then I'm using neon green in the middle of the strand and leaving the ends blonde as well. And I do this for about four inches in the middle of the front tool. So that is it for the coloring process. So what I like to do is let my color sit and absorb in the hair at least for eight hours. This color sat in the hair for about 20 hours. I like it to be stiff and dry onto the hair. Letting the dye sit on the hair allows for minimum to no bleeding. I had a little bit of bleeding when washing this out, but it was only the neon color. The blue and the dark green did not bleed at all. And I like to mix conditioner and clear dye together for a conditioning process. And then I let that sit for at least an hour so I can get some shine back in the hair, some moisture back in the hair. Here is the conditioning process. It's so pretty, y'all. I'm so excited to see how it looks. Another tip is that I like to let my wigs air dry. I try to do as little heat as possible. So I let it um, air dry. And this is how the color came out. It's so pretty y'all. I want to do this combination in another way. So stay tuned to see me use these colors again. I'm using my um, heat protectant. And then I'm just putting it everywhere. I do go in with the blow dryer just a little to straighten his hair out a little bit and get all the crinkles out of it from how it naturally dried. I did some plucking so I used water and then tweezers Okay, so time for the style and I use a little bit of water and got to be free spray just to help the curls set. And then I use a two inch curling wand. Stop letting these people tell y'all that y'all need a very expensive um, curling wand. This is a Con Air wand. I think I got it from Target. It was very inexpensive and it gets the job done. Lady things 
just ain't the same no more. Lately things just ain't the same. Lately things just ain't the same no more. Lately things just ain't the same. So when I get to the frontal area, I always go in with my hot comb just to smooth that back. So all my curls around the head is done and I like to do the part where my parting is last. So I use my wax stick so I can go in with my hot comb and make sure that it's flat, flat, like really, really flat. And then I just finish styling. Now this is the part that had me. I was like, oh yeah, this color is bomb. Look at that part and how slick it is. Don't that just look cute? That dark green is so pretty. Oh my God. <laughs> And here are the curls finished in pent up. This color came out so gorgeous. Oh my god, I'm so proud of this look, but yeah, here's the tutorial for this. You want to achieve this look, just go ahead and follow the steps. I will be having more coloring tutorials posted soon. So like, share, comment, and subscribe. And see y'all next time.